dinosaurs in my ears. Can you tell? It's great. Hey guys, so today I have a review of the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. It looks like this. It's white and gold. It's very pretty and it makes me feel like I make more money than I actually do. Just a disclaimer, uh, I don't actually know who Jaclyn Hill is and I haven't really been keeping up with the issues surrounding this collaboration, I think it is. But according to the back of the box, she has long hair and she is very pretty. And that's, that is the extent of my knowledge for this palette. Um, it's kind of a pricey palette. It was $59 here in Canada and I can't find the price online anymore. Uh, I don't know if you can still get this in stores. I'm assuming you can because it only came out like a week ago. You get the two highlighters and then the three blushes. So just for reference, I'm somewhere between an NC37 and an NC40 right now because I was out in the sun and I tan pretty much instantaneously. I don't really own anything by Becca. I do have this small like sample of Opal that I got in the something set. Don't remember which one, but um, the formula feels about the same as the highlighters in the palette. My only problem with them is that they look pretty much the exact same on my skin tone. This side has Champagne Pop on it, and this side has Prosecco Pop. And I actually prefer the Prosecco one because it's a little bit, it's a little bit more golden and it meshes better with my skin in general. I think my problem with this palette is the blushes. Actually, I have really oily skin, so face products tend to break down and disappear on me very easily, which is why I don't wear full coverage foundations or really heavy face makeup because it becomes really obvious at like the three hour mark when it starts to break down on my skin. So that being said, these blushes are really bad for that in particular. I've tried them on bare skin and they're gone within like an hour. I've tried them over powder foundation, which is usually the foundation type I wear and they're gone within a similar time period. I've tried it over a full coverage foundation, which makes it seem to last the best. But again, I don't wear that very often because it becomes really obvious when the foundation starts to break down. And I wear, I tried it over like a sheer foundation and powder, which is the second um, way I wear face products most often. And it's broken down in all three of the most common scenarios in which I would put this on my facial features. These are also not, I feel like, the most pigmented blushes in the world. When you swatch it with your fingers, wow, amazing. And then, oh man, I wanna put that on my face. I swatch these with a brush because that is how I tend to put blush on my face. Could be doing that wrong, who knows. And as you can see, the pigmentation is not there. This is all me like digging my brush into the blush and I used a, a blush brush basically. But here you have Pamplemousse, which means grapefruit in French for anyone who cares. Amaretto, which is quite a good liquor. And then Rose Spritz, which I don't think I've ever had, so can't, can't comment on that. But as you can see, like they, they don't actually show up very well and this part of my arm specifically is lighter than my face. Can you tell? Like, it's, it's a lot lighter than my face. I have them on and this is like, I had to go back into the blush like four times. So I'm not, not very impressed about that. It's a lot more work than I want to put in to blush. So if you are around my skin tone and you don't have oily skin and you don't mind working, to get these blushes to show up, then if you can pick up this palette and you really want it, go ahead. But I think it's a lot of money for products that weren't that great. I think you could pick up a Tarte blush, and I know those last on me very well. I do like the highlighter, but I also think you can get this highlighter elsewhere for cheaper. And not knocking Jaclyn Hill, who think many people love if she's collaborating. I never actually read the box. One second. Okay, I just live under a rock. I don't know who she is. It doesn't say on the box. Can't tell you. So that's my review on this thing with sort of swatches and I will see you guys next time.